Six things that men find highly attractive in a woman. Number one, this is so obvious. I didn't want to say it, but for the sake of emphasis, I'm going to say it. Look good, dear sisters. Look good. You see, let me tell you something. The first thing your husband or your boyfriend or whatever saw before he approached you and said, babe, I like you and I'd like you to be in my life, was your looks. He saw that you were well put together. Men are driven by what they see. Look good for him. How can you just get married two, three years ago and you're already looking so tattered? You do con roll. Con roll, they would they do, they go, they come. You do your own, your own reach three months. Even the line said for the con roll, don't cover on that growth, don't cover around. What are you doing? How old are you? Even if you're 60 years old, it's not a yardstick to throw yourself away and forget yourself and forget how you used to look good. These men see a lot of things. Oh. Hey, some of them, they go like keep banana island, go walk. Orishi, rishi, nani they see. I mean, he can't keep seeing all of those things. And then he comes back home to his own wife and he's seeing you struggling with Rapa here, this one here. So unkept. You won't smell nice. You won't look fresh. On to waiting. Not to say you marry, sister, package. Number two, intelligence. Men are highly attracted to intelligent women. I am telling you the fact. This is the point I'm supposed to have started with. But I had to talk about looking good because you need to be attracted to you physically to come close in order to discover that you're highly intelligent. So when you look good, you know, stop there. You have to, you know, Okbolo is important. Be a little bit knowledgeable about several things, not just some things. Develop interest in his own hobbies like football. Honestly, let me use myself for example. Before I got married, I didn't know jack about football. But right now, I can tell you a few things about Arsenal because my husband is an Arsenal fan. Let it not be that when there is a discussion, you can't even contribute one thing. You just be doing mm hmm, mm hmm. It's not sexy. Number three, learn how to cook. Some of you will say, I don't need to learn how to cook. I have house helps that can help me to cook. Yes, that is good in its own. It's not bad. But there is something about a meal you prepared for your husband by yourself with your own hands. It is special. YouTube is there. Informations are there for free. We live in a time where information is so free. I mean, anybody will say, no, no, for this kind of period, they will do so. You don't lose, though, because the informations are everywhere for free. Your husband might be telling you that, hey, baby, it doesn't matter. Don't worry. Now, lie, yo. It matters to Ramo. You know, I just tell you the truth. Make her tell you the truth. Now, you know, I just tell you. Maybe he doesn't want to offend your senses or something. But I tell you the truth. No man on earth doesn't appreciate it when his wife makes his meal by herself. It's very, very important. Number four, be prayerful. In as much as a man is a priest of the household, there is something about a praying wife. When you stand Gidigba for your family, they intercede on behalf of your family. There is something about it that men really appreciate. They might not say it too, but you know, when he goes to work and he goes on a trip, he just has this confidence that, ah, my wife, she could only pray. He has this confidence that nothing they shake, you know? And there is something I've also noticed about men, maybe not all of them, but most of them actually look for their mothers in their wife. Why? Because most of our mothers, you know, growing up, especially African moms, they have this habit of always praying for their children sometimes when you call your mom the next thing you don't turn prayer session she will pray for you she will bless you she know all of those things they appreciate it and they look out for things like that in their wives or their spouses number five this is strictly for married folks please if you're not married because because pause the video here now here you end this one i want to talk so now, for people, we don't call it license for the other room you know what i mean so sisters some of you you are slacking. Every time you be doing missionary, missionary, missionary. What is wrong with you? Every time he touch you, cha, I'm praying. Are they mountain? Are they this one? Every time. Let me say it bad to pray. I just talk and no, 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 no. Say prayer are they important? But you see this one. It they important too. Okay, spice up things a little bit. Don't be doing the missionary all the time. Right, baby girl. You have the license, right? You see, let me tell you something about this marriage. This is an institution established by God himself. These organs you have in your body, these things have been put there by God. What did you say put on for? You don't know say knocking good day. You don't know say knocking good day. So what are you doing? Every time they do, eh, as some of us actually, I don't blame us. The kind of orientations ever we get when we grow up, self, we reach, self, we reach to spoil things. But notwithstanding, we are in the age of information. And I'm telling you this, if you're doing this, is very wrong. Losing up, my darling, he's your husband. Feel free with him and enjoy it. 
You don't go tell the whole world saying that they marry. Everybody for the whole world knows you now your wife. So what do you come to hide? You can every time cha cha cha. You go to Steve, Steve, Steve. Every time pray and fast, and sister, do this thing. You see that heaven where they also so we won't go. Marriage no dead deal. We never read them. Marriage no dead deal. There is no marrying in heaven. In other news, there is no romance in heaven. So all of the romance and loving and everything, lovey dovey, you have to do is here on earth. So why don't you enjoy it before you go to heaven? That's it. Number six is show interest in the things that he finds interesting. I have touched this a little bit in my earlier point, but I'm just going to say it again for the sake of emphasis. If you want him to find you highly attractive, begin to find interest in the things that are interesting. If he's the type that likes football, just, you know, pick interest in football. Discuss football with him sometimes. Even if you don't know anything, ask him questions. He'll be excited to answer you. I've tried it before. It worked. He'll be so happy and he'll be like, ah, eh. The other day, I told my husband the name of their new coach and he's like, ah, you know this one. You know, <laughs> he's surprised that I know who their new coach is because he knows that I'm usually not a football player kind of person i mean what's not the reason football for but now i'm married to him and he loves football so i don't have a choice than to pick interest a little bit of interest in football thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one